what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk many of you have heard about our fallen african-american brother fbg cash a young man under 30 who was um in the same crew i believe as the very talented fbg duck he was killed two years ago he was killed in chicago two days ago and um it was, it was early in the morning a young lady that he was with was also critically injured and there are some suspicions that maybe a female could have been the shooter um we don't know but i've i've heard those rumors on the internet but this video is more or less not about our brother who has fallen but about young black men like him and for all of you brothers out there who are from the black community you've grown up in less than stellar circumstances let me be the first to tell you that i appreciate you um, i hope that god keeps you in his care um but some of us who have come out of these environments where the father may not be there and i'm not sure if he came up with a two-parent household i would assume that he did not and many of you brothers know people like him um brothers who are very talented they're going to make it regardless but some brothers fall into situations where there is no instruction and i know plenty of guys like that guys who are just really really smart really talented and all they needed was a little help and then that's it but unfortunately they didn't get the help so they ended up doing the wrong thing or ended up getting killed or ended up going to prison and of course when we look at such things that transpire what is often talked about is the mother of the son um our family talking about that they did the best that they could and of course the mother is consoled at the funeral and things that are the grandmother whoever else is there um but when we really look at the situations that these young black men are coming from the father and men are excluded from these young brothers lives for whatever reason whether the mom has you know multiple children by many different guys or whether the father himself is also incarcerated or, or dead because he was in a very you know either illegal lifestyle or he was just killed it it strikes an accord with me and, and the question that i want to ask is what do we expect from these young black men when there is no infrastructure for them to be able to compete and i want to talk about this because many of us who come from those environments and god blessed us to see something different in the world as of right now i'm talking to you from europe i've talked to you god brothers from africa i've talked to you brothers from some of the best places on earth i, I could never feel you know 10 years ago that I want to be afforded to have this lifestyle. But some of us who've come up because of our own actions and efforts and our own self-agency, we look back and see how things could have went the other way for us. And now that we're at our place now, we say, well, damn, I'm not going back to Chicago. I'm not going back to New York. I'm not going back to New Orleans. The hell with those Negroes. And I get it. I understand it. And the appeal that I'm asking today, I'm not asking for an appeal for you to do that. I'm not asking you that. I am asking though, do we owe these young black men anything? That's what I wanna to talk to you guys today about because my mother and my father split up when I was a teenager. And, and do you know what? There were other men in my life who came in and stepped into my life that didn't need to do it. I benefited from being in a strong black church community. I had men like my grandfather. Of course he passed away. I had an older brother. I had men in my church like Deacon Boatwright and Deacon Leonard, okay? And the Reverend Haynes, people like that. And it's funny because Reverend Haynes, his, his grandson watches my channel, he's somewhere in DC. But I had men like that that would show me that I needed to be a young man and what it, I would need to be in life. They may have been, that, been the most educated, but I knew. And so the man that I became today was because of these men who reached out to me. And, and I wanna mention this because I, there's a brother George making here. He has a program called Urban Nerds. And, and I'm not doing this video because of him. He didn't ask me to do this. Um, I do have a video I'm gonna post for him, but he didn't ask me to do this. But I wanna talk to you because he's a close friend of mine. He deals with these sort of young men every day, 
okay? In Philadelphia. As we know, Philadelphia is probably one of the most dangerous cities in the world. They have drill rappers too, like the Chicago guys. They've always been dangerous. You know what he told me? He said, listen, nobody wants to help me take these young kids around to colleges and tours. Nobody wants to help me do that. I'm the only married black man on my block. I have kids in my program, I'm speaking as him, that they don't even have any shoes. One, one young man asked him, could, could you please be my dad? He was so poor I had to buy the shoes for this kid. This is what he told me. And what I see is, from our community as black men, we, we laugh at guys like George. We say things such as, uh, I'm not gonna help the black community. In fact, in, in fact uh, Obsidian Media Network, he has one of the best shows I've ever heard on this topic, and I partly agree. I refuse to be the cleanup man. Let their mama take care of them. But I've, I've been thinking about this. How many of us have, have, have benefited from some black man standing in the gap for our life? And so now I don't criticize guys like a George Mink. And if you guys want to donate to this foundation, I'll put it in the uh, first comment. Help the black young kids in Philadelphia go see colleges and tours. I donate quite regularly when I, when I can. But see, somebody needs to help these guys. I get it. I get it, guys. These are the kids of single mothers who chose Pookies and Ray Rays. I get it. Do you know what, though? This might be the next brother who might be a millionaire. He might be a brother who might do something. We don't know. Nobody gave me a chance. Nobody gave you a chance. Many of you guys listen to me right now. Nobody gave you a chance. So my thing is, are young black men like FBG Cash, is he worth mentioning? Or the guy who possibly pulled, or the girl who pulled the trigger? I, I thought about this. And the answer is, if somebody wants to do it, God damn it, it might not be me, but God damn it, we should not ridicule those people. How dare we ridicule people who are trying to create a solution for these people? Yes, it's something that we should support. To a certain degree, if we could. Even if we're away, even if you're in interracial relationships, it's nothing to give $5 of that. Because why somebody has to reinvest into these people. And every kid ain't a bad person. And I damn sure don't want those kids killing my daughter or son. And there's a lot of young black men out there like FBG Cash that had talent and for whatever reason things went the wrong way and now he's saying RIP. I get it, I know our community has let us down for it to, to a certain degree. But what about the people who came before us? We had people, the reasons why I go to school now, I went to school, got um, um, loans and, 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 and I can go to public universities because of the guys that came before me to open the door. What doors do we open for other black people? We gotta really be serious about that. And I'm never gonna talk down on people who do that. I'm sorry I can't because we got too many young black men dying in the streets like dogs and we laugh about it, some of us. Not all of us, but some of us. Or we don't care. Until it's your kid, then you care. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at all time high. I'm out.